Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am JT Gooney, and if you are new here, make sure you get subscribed, hit the bell icon to stay up to date when I upload new videos. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming out in the near future. Hopefully I'm able to pump them out with work and everything, but you know, we're, we're getting on schedule. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. But today's video is going to be all about the loadouts that I personally use, my top five favorite loadouts in Warzone. And if you're anything like me, I swap my loadout out every match and I adjust and fine tune until I find something just right. Uh, I'll have five loadouts here for you. Let me know down in the comments if you guys use any of these or if any of these are your favorite weapons in the game right now. I know the meta is kind of wonky right now. Nothing's really super good, but nothing's really super bad. Um, the FFAR and the AUG are basically the main two guns right now, I guess, if you want to go down that rabbit hole. But for me personally, I don't really, you know, adhere to the meta. I kind of just do my own thing and frag out. But with all that being said, let's get into my top five favorite loadouts in Warzone. right on into it we've got my favorite loadout number five and that's going to be the cr56 and the bullfrog um, i like the cr56 because it has a lot of range and a lot of people say that you can't really control the recoil but with this loadout that i have here it's kind of you don't really have to worry about it the optic is honestly personal up, up to personal preference excuse me but i this is the build that i've been running for months now ever since the cr56 came out really and i it's my favorite go-to version of this gun so we've got the shadow realm variant uh, which is from season four, I believe, or season, season four or five, or I don't really remember. But we've got the monolithic suppressor. Um, we've got the Zodiac S440 barrel, the monocle reflex. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but it is currently my favorite optic in the game. Uh, the Merc foregrip, and then the 45 round mags. I do wish this gun had a higher magazine size, but 45 rounds with this weapon is plenty enough. Uh, 60 would be nice, even 50 would be good, but. You know it, it it gets the job done uh, it's got a decent amount of accuracy with this loadout the range is pretty bumped up as well um you can basically beam people from 75 80 meters away with no problem especially if you're really accurate with your shots and if you're on controller this gun is it's a cakewalk to use um it's got good control you do lose a bit a little bit of mobility um due to the barrel and the monocle reflex but you know overall it is definitely a great gun uh for the for the medium to long range and even close range some people are, like swag have been running it as an smg um, and i do appreciate that build but honestly that style is not for me i tried running two ars but i honestly two ars just the ffar aug thing the ammo situation for me because i'm a sprayer and i like to push and i like to be aggressive so it's like you know running two ars that's one ammo pool to pull from you only get 210 reserve rounds so i'm gonna skip on that um Excuse me, I'm pairing this with the uh, Jungle Scrim Bullfrog variant. Uh, and on that, I don't know what people use on their Bullfrogs, but this is honestly the build that works personally for me. Um, so if you do use this or at least try this loadout, link, let me know down below. Send me some links on uh, Twitter or TikTok of you hitting clips with this gun. I've got the Gru Suppressor, uh, the VDV Reinforced, the Foregrip, just the, the regular, you know, the top one there, the regular Foregrip. You could use the Spetsnaz grip. You do lose, lose a little bit of ADSB, but you get a little bit of accuracy. Um, but I personally use the foregrip. And then the VDV 85 round fast mags. And then the Serpent Wrap. I use a Serpent Wrap for the ADS speed. Um, you could use Spetsnaz or a uh, Drop Shot Wrap. But personally for me, I think the Serpent Wrap look works best for the way that I play. Um, especially in those tight corners when you're trying to like flick on somebody really quick if they get past you quicker than you can react and you know you need to turn on them real quick uh, this is probably going to be the best bet coming in at number four we've got the bullfrog car 98 same on the bullfrog jungle scream it's the same loadout uh, as the previous one but on this one i put field tape for flinch resistance and i'll tell you why my primary weapon technically is going to be this car 98 here Monolithic suppressor, the Syngard custom 27.6 inch barrel, sniper scope, stippled grip tape, and sleight of hand. You could slot it, swap out sleight of hand for presence of mind. Um, I personally love presence of mind. It, it's absolutely insane. Or if you wanted to put the STVOL precision combat uh, stock on there, you could do that as well. Um, though both of those together though, if you use the STVOL and the presence of mind perk, you are just stable as a surgeon, man. It's insane. But this is the loadout that I like because I like to quick scope and I like to, you know, push with this car 98 and then use the bullfrog as, uh, you know, use that as a support. 
um, but this loadout and also on all of these loadouts that you're gonna see it's quick fix overkill and amped for the perks and then lethal is semtex and then heartbeat sensors obviously um, some people run stuns throwing knives are also a really good option um, if you have the flaming ones get a little fancy with it you could do that I kind of want this EHV one but you know money <laughs> But anyway, yeah, this is this is the loadout. All of my loadouts have quick fix, overkill, and amped, or quick fix, ghost, and amped. Those are the only perks that I use. They are the only perks that I will ever use. And yeah, so coming in at number three, beautiful number three, we've got the Krig Six with the Samurai Creed variant. Uh, I think it looks beautiful with the cherry blossoms and the samurai with swords through them, and just the you know Japanese patterns and stuff like that. I think it looks dope. Uh, and then the loadout we're gonna have on this is gonna be the Agency Suppressor which does sound suppression vertical recoil and control bullet velocity and effective damage range. you do lose a little tiny small amount of ads speed um and a little bit of aiming stability but nothing too noticeable the 19.7 inch takedown barrel uh, uh i've seen people using the uh, contour and the cavalry lancer but the takedown is the best one the best one to use uh i think i might try it with the cmv mil specs uh barrel but the takedown barrel honestly is is the best one for me the microflex led i used to hate it i used to really not like this gun but uh you know i have been trying it on a few different weapons like the ffar and the the aug and stuff like that but i really do like this one the field agent grip uh which gives you ammo or sorry i hit the wrong button and the field agent was vertical and horizontal recoil control you do lose, lose a little bit ADS firing move speed so when you're shooting the gun you do move a little bit slower but again this gun has so much range that like you don't even have to worry about not being able to hit your targets even if you're moving um the, I have a clip on my TikTok I'll have a link down to that and below but of me just beaming somebody like literally laser beaming them from like 110 meters away it was absolutely nuts this gun is honestly a top contender in Warzone right now I don't really see that many people using it all that often but honestly um this is one of the best guns in the game right now uh in my opinion i know you know other people are probably saying differently but honestly this gun shreds and it's definitely worth a check out and then the last attachment is a salvo 60 round fast max which is reload speed and ammo capacity uh 60 rounds are king 60 rounds are king in warzone it's just it's just the lay of the land obviously quick fix overkill amped semtex tax or heartbeat sensor and then we've got the gallantry uh mac 10 variant with the agency suppressor uh reinforced heavy for that effective damage range and the bullet velocity i'm using the laser sight but another really good option is gonna be no stock or you could use the raider stock um raider stock is really good if you want to be fast if you want to keep moving really quick or no stock even um i've seen a couple people using this sas combat stock but personally raider and no stock are the best options but i'm using the five milliwatt laser for hit fire accuracy striker grip and this uh St stanag stanag 53 round drum you could honestly i hit the wrong button again you could honestly use the 53 round fast mag but honestly it's 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 really not worth it i don't know i just feel like the drum gives it that good balance you know what i mean it sometimes you just have to sacrifice speed for i don't know overall functionality it'd be like that in warzone and then coming in at number two my personal favorite weapon in this game uh it is my all-time favorite gun right now the ram 7 i'm using the reticent variant uh because i like this blue and black kind of combo it's got going on it's got like a you know like i don't know like a gun shop kind of feel to it i like it a lot um, but on this uh we're running the monolithic suppressor the fss ranger barrel core combat hollow sight with a blue dot commando foregrip 50 round mags if you've been around in the warzone community enough you know that this gun absolutely slaps um this is my personal favorite this is my favorite gun in the entire game out of every all the guns that just got added out of all the guns that were in here for modern warfare this is my all-time favorite and once the new uh smg comes out i don't remember the name of the cx9 i think it's called once that gun comes out i'm gonna pair it with this and i'm going to be unstoppable dude if you haven't found the CX-9, uh, what is it called? Ciroc variant on the ground yet? Go into plunder, play some plunder, pick up that gun, and just watch how, oh my gosh, it just freaking melts, dude. So once that comes out, Ram 7, CX-9, If I think that's what it's called. If it's not, please let me know in the comments because I could be fucking that all up. 
Um, but yeah, this is literally my favorite gun in this game. The Ram 7. So monolithic suppressor again, FSS Ranger barrel, core combat with a blue dot, commando foregrip, 50 round mags. You could put VLK on there and you could put tack laser on there with no optic uh, and it would be just as good. It would slap just as hard, dude. This gun is insane. And then I also pair that with my car 98, the broke variant does my own custom mod monolithic suppressor, Singard 27 sniper scope, stippled sleight of hand. This loadout right here has gotten me most of my solo wins. Uh, to be honest with you, I absolutely adore the Ram 7. It's my favorite gun in the game. And then, of course, Quick Fix, Overkill, Amped, Semtex, Heartbeats. Uh, before we get into the number one spot, before we get into the number one spot, if you made it this far, leave a like on the video and make sure you guys comment down below what you guys' favorite loadouts that I've mentioned here today are. That way, and let me know if you guys use them. Let me know if you guys have been using, like, you know, the... the CR56 and the Bullfrog or the the Car 98 or the Krig or the Mac 10 or the Ram or let me know what your favorite gun is down in the comments below. But with all that being said, let's get on into this number one spot. And this is going to probably be like a shock to you guys that I'm even using this gun because like a lot of people don't. There are some people I see out there using it, but personally, I've been getting back into it and I fucking love it. So number one, we've got the M4A1. This is my demolisher loadout. Uh, and this is the thunderclap variant with a little bit of a twist on it so i'm running monolithic suppressor the stock m16 grenadier barrel commando foregrip 60 round mags and the vlk optics sometimes i'll swap it out for the gi mini uh reflex optic and i think actually i'm gonna play a match after this video and i'm gonna use it with the gi mini dude it shreds man it's so good from basically any range it's good up close it well i wouldn't say it's great up close it's usable up close like you can get away with this being a close range weapon but this loadout right here man it just looks so good in matte black it looks so amazing and i just i don't know i really really am getting back into the m4a1 personally i i was i used it a lot in earlier seasons and then i stopped because the ram 7 came out and then um the cr56 came out so i just kind of like stopped using it but I recently picked it back up and I'm absolutely falling back in love with it again. And uh, so we've got this the, this loadout here. It's got a really good accuracy, like really good accuracy, really good range and really good control. Good mobility, even though you do take a huge hit with this Grenadier Barrel, it's okay. Uh, because the damage and accuracy and the range are there, so you know it makes up for that. So if you're shooting, if you're using this gun at the medium to long, uh, you'll be okay. Anywhere in between like... I'd say like 45 meters to like 75 meters. You, that's the sweet spot for it that I've seen at least for my play style with the, you know, super aggressive slide canceling and, you know, super aggressive flanks. This is basically my go-to gun right now, the M4A1, man. And I pair that with a bullfrog. Sometimes I'll mix it up and I'll slap a shotgun on there. Um, I'll have, you know what, at the end, after this, after we talk about this one, I will put a, a really good shotgun load up for you guys so you guys can, you know, see what it's like to use a shotgun but this is the same loadout that i always use grew vdv reinforced foregrip vdv 85 fast fast mags and then the field tape this this is the best support for the m4a1 that i found or you could use the fennec i know a lot of people don't really use the fennec um i've used it here and there uh, it's pretty good the iso is also it's basically the iso is basically an assault rifle in an smg form factor it's it's absolutely insane but let's go ahead and set up a shotgun here and i think the one i'll do for you guys will be we'll do the jack 12 because that full auto is absolutely nuts so on this if you were to pair this with the m4a1 or just any long range gun for the close range you want to put choke the zlr j36000 3600 sorry excuse me torrent barrel uh the five milliwatt laser merc foregrip and the 32 round drum the frag slug rounds is also a really good option because it you can shoot so far with it like the range on this thing is absolutely nutty and then you could also do dragon's breath but everybody's enough everybody's done with that but this gun the full auto the full auto and the accuracy of it like it's absolutely insane this is also another good option to use if you're looking for a shotgun build uh, but we're gonna set back up this uh we're gonna set back up this bullfrog and I like this jungle scrim variant. I just like the way it looks. You know, I just I just really like the way that it looks. Uh, so yeah, these are my top five favorite loadouts in Warzone right now. Um, these are mainly what I use when I drop into Verdansk. So if you do like the video, make sure you guys hit, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash jtgoonie underscore. 
I really I stream over there five. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I stream over there five days a week. Um, I basically stream Call of Duty over there. So if you want to see me frag out with my friends, and if you want to be a part of the community and you know play a few matches with us, we are always welcome to add new people to the Discord server. Everything will have a link down below. So if you guys do want to be a part of the JT Goonie community, be a part of the Goon Squad. Uh, I would love to have you here. I would love to, you know, meet new people and see what you guys are all about. Um, but with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. The next one I feel like is going to be all about sniper rifles. Um, I think I'm going to take the car 98 and like just dual sniper the whole time, I guess. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.